The city of Santa Fe was founded with the help of a key historic gem, the 1,600-mile-long El Camino Real. The centuries-old path linked Santa Fe to Mexico City, forming one of the first rudimentary highways in North America. Now, the history-rich City Different is on the verge of another first in transportation. The New Mexico Department of Transportation is preparing to move forward on a redesign of the Interstate 25 Cerrillos Road Interchange. The cutting-edge project promises to improve safety, smooth the traffic flow, and shorten delays for drivers. It would be the first of its kind in New Mexico. The current design has been in service over 40 years and is in need of a significant upgrade or replacement. Over the past 20 years, it's been shown to have major weaknesses, traffic backups, bottlenecks, and deteriorating bridges. In addition, the current ramps provide only half the distance now considered safe for vehicles to merge into traffic without any problems. What's being proposed for the I-25 Cerrillos Road interchange is a more modern design, first developed in Europe. This elegant model, called a Diverging Diamond Interchange, or DDI, is becoming increasingly popular in the United States, thanks to its effectiveness in reducing traffic congestion. Because of its novel engineering, a diverging diamond will avoid sharp left-hand turns across oncoming traffic lanes, dramatically shrinking the chance for a driver on Cerrillos Road to get broadsided while trying to reach the interstate. Boosting the safety even further is that drivers exiting the freeway will have five times the current distance to merge with traffic. Overall, this will produce a vastly superior interchange. On an overhead map, the configuration appears more complex than a conventional diamond interchange. But in reality, drivers find the diverging diamonds to be surprisingly intuitive and natural to navigate. The path for through traffic is slightly different than in a traditional diamond. If you're driving northbound or southbound on Cerrillos Road, all you'll notice is that the road will veer left slightly at a traffic light immediately before the interstate. Northbound and southbound lanes essentially separate briefly at this point. Then, after passing under the interstate, you will veer slightly right. You may have to stop at another light, but after that, you're through the interchange and the two streets are reunited in a standard arrangement. Getting onto Interstate 25 is simple. If you want to turn right onto the interstate, you'll make the turn from a far right travel lane on Cerrillos Road, before you reach either of the interchange's two stoplights. That's similar to a conventional interchange. Meanwhile, if you want to reach an on-ramp for the opposite direction of travel on I-25, you'll simply move to the farthest left-hand lane as you approach the diverging diamond interchange. This leads you to a smooth left onto I-25. This maneuver, thanks to the diverging diamond's unique design, becomes much quicker by eliminating the need for a left turn signal. It also becomes safer by reducing the risk of a T-bone crash. Of course, whatever your destination, you'll be guided by plenty of signs and roadway markings identifying the routes. In addition to improved safety, the diverging diamond will keep traffic from bottlenecking during peak travel times, as the area develops and grows in the future. This happens because drivers no longer have to wait for the traffic lights to go through an additional phase signaling a left-hand turn. As a result, the flow of traffic becomes quicker. Numbers indicate a diverging diamond can handle up to 650 cars turning left per hour, about twice what a conventional diamond can. While the diverging diamond model is unique in itself, some special features are being planned for the Santa Fe project. These bonus elements truly will make it a diamond different. The project will include an independent trail that will parallel the interchange. 
This trail is a pleasant way for not only walkers and joggers, but also bicyclists to avoid the interchange traffic altogether. In addition to the multi-use path, wide shoulders will be added to Cerrillos Road through the interchange to accommodate those bicyclists who prefer to cross with traffic. In the spirit of artistic Santa Fe, the new bridge will feature artwork celebrating the state's turquoise trail, which runs along New Mexico Highway 14 from Tijeras to Santa Fe. Comprised of several historic mining communities, the turquoise trail showcases New Mexico's rich heritage. Travelers along this scenic route can enjoy museums, galleries, restaurants, horseback riding, and more. The icing on the cake for the entire Diamond Different project is that it will save taxpayers money in several ways. First of all, it has a smaller footprint than other possible interchange upgrades, meaning fewer construction materials will have to be purchased. Because of the design efficiency, it's able to move more cars per hour, saving commuters time. And after all, time is money. Lastly, the entire interchange has a longer usable lifespan than comparable designs, reducing future taxpayer expenses. With its very own diverging diamond, Santa Fe will step into the next era of highway design while keeping a solid grasp on the cultural values important to residents. To Santa Fe's diamond different, we say, Bienvenido!